Hello guys, this is Rahul and today I am going to show you how to make power bank using Vinex 650 batteries. So let's get started. So you can see there are only the four main components required. The first one is the main of course the 18650 battery. This is a LG 2200mAh battery. You can buy it from uh, on eBay or from local store or you can also get it from old laptop batteries. Uh, 12 volt laptop battery have uh, approximately 6 lithium ion batteries. So you can search on YouTube such that uh, how to get one uh, six five zero batteries from old laptop battery. The the battery is the main costly component in the whole assembly. So if you get the battery at low cost, it will be beneficial to you. There are two types in these batteries. Uh, first one is protected, and uh, another one is unprotected. This is unprotected battery. Uh, for unprotected battery uh, precautions should be taken that uh, there should not be short circuit that means the positive terminal of the battery should not be connected to the negative terminal of the battery directly by means of wire or something else our next component is this charging module this is 1 ampere TP4056 lithium ion battery charger with protection circuit inbuilt the protection circuit will avoid over discharge as well as over charge of this 18650 battery our regular micro usb charger can also be useful for this module you can connect your micro usb module directly here to charge you the power bank so our third module is 3 volt to 5 volt step up dc boost module yeah, this model will convert the 3.7 volt of the battery to the chargeable voltage of the 5 volt for uh, our mobiles. It will give 200 to 300 milliampere current for one single lithium ion cell and uh, 500 to 600 milliampere for uh, double lithium ion cell. So as you increase the number of lithium ion batteries, the more charging current you will get. And our uh, fourth required component is the case that means uh, you can put the whole assembly in one case so I choose this one for my compact design you can also take any case uh, you can make your own box so now let's move to, uh, towards the circuit of the assembly So first we take the our one axis five zero battery. We draw it. Uh, this is positive terminal and this is negative terminal. This is our charging module. Uh, let's place it uh, here. Here we can uh, charge our mobile here there is negative terminal shown neither positive terminal shown you can see it okay so we draw our next charging module You can see there are four output uh, terminals uh, B plus B minus output minus and output plus so let's draw it first output output plus output minus this is a battery plus and battery minus
the battery plus of the charging module will go to the positive terminal of the battery and the negative B minus goes to the negative terminal of the battery and the output of the module will O plus will go to the positive terminal of the charging module and the negative terminal of the charging module will go to the negative terminal of the boost module so you can also use here one DPDT switch so you can stop the loss in the this uh, charging model while it is not in use the charging model has a uh, one more terminal here uh, this is input plus and input minus uh, this input plus and this input minus uh, if you have the solar panel then you can connect it directly in the positive terminal of the solar panel to the positive terminal of this module charging module and negative terminal to the negative side if you want to connect more batteries to get uh, more mh for your power bank connect it in parallel never connect it in series uh, in parallel the output will be 3.7 volt and the mh will be added current will be added you must take care that positive positive should be connected properly and negative negative should be connected i have drawn this circuit on a separate another paper so you can now see it in clearly so now i am going to make connections so this is how it looks like after soldering this is charging module this is boost module and uh, I found this uh, connectors from old uh, remote control so now I am going to fix all the these components in this box so finally I have made this and uh, as you can see this is how it looks this is input charging port uh, on a switch and uh, output charging port this looks some like worst but I am going to now uh, paint it in black so we hope it may be look good so now I am going to charge this by my 5 volt adapter You can see a red light glows now. Now let it be for some time. So now the power bank is fully charged. You can see the blue LED glowing. So now it's little time. Now I am going to charge my mobile and this is mobile and uh, I am connecting it to my newly made power bank now the initially the battery percentage is 72% time is 16 hour and 23 minutes so turn it on it is on sounds like it's charging now 5 minutes are over uh, it's 16.30 minutes and uh, battery percentage is 77% so 
so i hope you guys uh, like this video and uh, you can try more fun with uh, this power bank you can attach a solar panel on ebay uh, mobile size uh, solar panels are available at low cost so you can attach uh, led lights for power bank in it can act as a emergency light also you can add uh, more batteries for more image of your power bank so, so thank you for watching this video and this is my first video so suggestions are always welcome thank you